Let me pull up my favorite subreddit. Woohoo! Alright, we can do top four. Uh, I haven't streamed in a, a bit. We can do the week. I could probably do two weeks, but I don't know that that filter exists. Alright, time to look at some uh, some terrible aquariums. What the f*** is this? God damn it. My sister's godmother's aquarium. It's just an empty thing of water with a fucking axolotl in it. What do they- do they think that the creature just doesn't have a brain? Like, it just sits there all day, just like... Okay, to be fair, if you looked at an axolotl's face, you might think they don't have a brain. They do have kind of an empty head vibe. However, they do have brains, and they are somewhat intelligent, and this is just fucking crazy. I mean... Normally, when we see, like, shitty aquariums that have, like, are too small, or, like, don't have... Or have like weird shitty rainbow decorations and all that. That's one thing where it's like the person's uneducated or uninformed. To think that just an empty thing of water is fine for an animal is not like uninformed or unintelligent or something like that. Like they just genuinely don't have a, like a compassion center in their brain for animals, which is crazy. Life is not about having everything. It's about finding meaning in everything. Thank you, Jekyll. For this video of this Oscar in this tiny ass tank. <laughs> That's her baby. Selling tank plus two albino Cory catfish. Not selling crawfish. She's my baby. <laughs> well, you've got her in probably the worst possible tank I could think of to put a crawfish in. What the fuck? Okay. Probably the worst one I've seen so far. Oh my. You know what's sad about it? This isn't the worst one I've seen. It's not even close. I don't even think if I made the like a worst aquariums tier list that this would be top 10. This actually might not even be top 10. That's how bad this is. How not, well no, how bad it is in general, not how bad this is specifically. Call fish protective services. Fortunately, those, that doesn't exist. Place I got my tires from, Jesus Christ. I see knife fish, I see, I assume that's a Paku. I see a giant red tail catfish. Dude, any one of these, there's like no top on this thing. Anyone could have, any fuck one of these fish could have just fucking jumped out. Caused big issues. Like that Arapaima we saw. At my uncle's house, there are three of them. Yikes. It's one of the critter carriers, bro. They don't even make these for fish. This is an extra level of dumb, because it's not like they sell this bug catcher to be used for fish. This is literally someone is specifically taking a bug catcher. They're like, actually, the one gallon aquariums that they sell me at the at the pet store for goldfish, that's too big. I actually don't think they need that much, you know, need that much space. I'm going to get a bug catcher instead. My grandma had a fish in that exact tank and it lived for like 15 years. Yep. That's that's the crazy thing about uh, it's crazy thing about the resiliency of goldfish and betta fish, despite being in terrible conditions, stressed out constantly, completely unoptimal, uh, they can live for an extremely long time in those shitty conditions. It's not a good thing, but it does actually. It's actually a bad thing because it makes people think that they're doing well. People are like, oh yeah, my fish is happy. Look, they've survived so long. They must be in good conditions and so forth. Um, just because the fish lives a while, but, you know, not really how that works. The more you look, the worse it gets. Okay, so we've got an arowana with an uh, two Oscars, I believe. I don't know what that is in the back. And then we've got a gar. So we've got a native fish, I assume. Cause I assume this is the U.S., because a lot of these are the U.S. <coughs> Actually, maybe this is Hong Kong dollars. Is that what HK dollars is? So maybe this actually isn't the US, in which case it might even be worse because are you even allowed to have a gar in Hong Kong? Are you even allowed to take a Native American, Native, comma, American fish? He got the COVID? No, I got the allergies, bro. I have been sneezing and stuffed up for uh, years. You don't understand. This is my life. If you have, if you've noticed me going like this a lot on stream or like scratching my nose, that's just because I have allergies. A little understocked. Better fin catfish. Oh no, I love cat. There's two Raphaels. What is that? Is that a hoplo? What is this? A hoplo of a feather fin 
which this hurts because this is my favorite fish, aquarium fish at least. Raphael and two Oscars, fucking crazy, bro. Please convince my friend he thinks this is okay. I mean, if he thinks it's okay, I doubt you're gonna convince him otherwise. He's got what are those two iridescent sharks? Is the bottom like a fake grass? What is this? Post that a page that normally posts cool European planted aquariums slash terrariums posted this monstrosity. Oh my god. <laughs> is this a did they put a fake Christmas tree in a giant tank and then throw in every possible fancy goldfish that they could find? They had to have bought out multiple aquarium stores, right? Where do you get this many fancy goldfish? The tree could be outside? I don't think so, man. Look. Some of the fish are behind it and some of the fish are in front of it. I don't think the fish is out, the tree is outside. I think they are. I think the tree is very much in the tank. <laughs> it looks very, see how it's on the black here and the black's behind it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think. See the green here? Yeah, that, that's definitely in the tank. Aren't the trees usually metal? No, they're like a weird plastic thing unless it's custom made. Well, maybe the, the wiring is metal, but the needles and all that aren't. Okay, this is basically exactly what we just saw with the two. Is it literally the same thing, an albino and a normal Oscar? Is it the same tank? No, two different tanks with the exact same problem. 40 gallons, 29 gallons. Jesus. Are these fish okay? Feel so bad for them. Don't know a lot about fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say they're a little empty cylinder here with some brightly colored gravel. They're probably not doing so hot. Found this on the local Facebook marketplace. How did they get the fish in the bottle? Why would you sell them? Fish bottles with free bottle of fish food and free delivery one day advanced to order any alcohol clear bottle you can get. Oh, this isn't a one time thing. Oh no. I thought that they were like selling two aquarium bottles that they have. No, this is a business. You pick the alcohol and they will fill the bottle with water and put a fish in it for you and give you food for $40. That's fucking crazy. This is, this has to be illegal, right? How is this legal? How do our laws allow this? The US is crazy, man. I guess it's not just the US. Lots of other countries don't really have great, actually, I can't even think of a country that has great laws protecting fish. It just doesn't exist right now, which is unfortunate. At a local salon, yeah, I see this at salons a lot. Salons and nail places, I feel like, have the worst fish tanks. The worst or the best. It's a 50-50. Nail places in particular. Sometimes nail places have the craziest, nicest tanks I've ever seen. And sometimes they're just awful. But salons, I think it's almost always awful. Yeah, the aquaria, the, the decorations are quite bad. Is that a bluegill? Is that a wild fish? Homie just caught a bluegill and put it in a 10 gallon. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. I was going to pick any native wild fish to put in my aquarium. I would not pick a bluegill. When I get like a natural aquarium, I'm going to put cool natropus species. I'm not going to catch the most common stocked fish in, in the entire country and put it in a tank. Free fish tank? Oh no. Oh no, it's so yellow, and you can see that there's fish in there. Oh no. I, I, you know what? This looks like a real plant. There may be a goldfish in a tiny box. The water may be fucking disgusting, and there's a pineapple, but... Please say that's tannins. I'm hoping. I, that's what I'm hoping. I think it might be driftwood and plants. This is in Hallmark. But there aren't fish in them, are there? Oh, they're frogs. African dwarf frogs. Haha. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't see anything fish shaped. Nope, it's frogs. Listen, I don't know that much about African dwarf frogs, but I'm going to go ahead and take a guess and say that's probably not the environment they need. Oh my god, I just had a flashback. My sister had an African dwarf frog. I didn't live with her. Um, but when I would go to their house, I would see it. They had it on top of the toilet in a tiny tank like this. It was like this size, and they had an African dwarf frog. And they put it on top of the toilet. Maybe it was a little bigger than this. Maybe I'll give her a little bit of credit. It was a little bigger than this, but it was not good. And I think she would agree nowadays that it was not good. Small aquarium. What the fuck is this, man? What the fuck are you doing? I'm over it.
We've seen enough shitty aquariums for today.